Hey guys, it's April from Mama Loves Food. Welcome back. We're here on Spaceships and Laser Beams, and uh, we're going to do another cooking show tonight. I apologize, it's been a crazy night. We had um, a makeup soccer game tonight, uh, so everything was just running behind, which is why, you know, fun and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this shared real quick so we can get some people on, and uh, then we'll get going. So tonight we're actually those of you who are always frustrated with the fact that I tend to talk a lot at the beginning and don't cook until, you know, a few minutes in, will be pleased because we've got a little bit of a long recipe tonight, so we're going to get try to get cooking right away. I've actually already got my um, pan heating up right here, so um, I'm going to go ahead and give me two seconds and get this shared, and then we can get going. Um, so those of you who are on, go ahead and say hi. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if this is your first time watching or if you're a repeat viewer. Hopefully we can see comments again. I uh, reinstalled Facebook, so I don't know. I'm not seeing anything yet. Somebody pipe up and let me know, please. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to share this. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Hey, Erin. All right, yay. We have... Uh, we have comments, at least at least for now we have comments. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts, but hopefully for a while, hopefully, hopefully for the whole show, that would be wonderful. So tonight we're gonna be making, oh, my connection is already going weak. Can I see you now? I can see you now. Hi, Vicki, hi, Marianne, how are you? Um, tonight we're gonna be making Italian Sloppy Joes. They're super duper easy to make. Um, I'm getting a weird strobe thing and I think maybe it's from my fan, hold on. Which would be a bummer because it's hot in here. Oh, yep, that seems to be what it was. Okay. Hi, Renee. Third time. Yay! Love repeat viewers. I mean, I love all of you, but I love when you come back for more. Um, anyway, so we are making... Shoot, did I already do that? See, I lost track of what I was doing already. We're making Italian Sloppy Joes tonight. And uh, really, really simple. Really easy, really yummy. I like to just eat them from a bowl, but my kids like to put them on a on a big old bun, like, you know, like Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> and we're gonna do that. And I've already got my pan heating up here because uh, those of you who watched me try to boil water on the show last time, it was kind of painful waiting for that pan to heat up. So I've got it going, I've got the oven going. I'm hoping that we'll have time to do some garlic knots along with this. I'm not promising, uh, but we're gonna try. Okay, so we've got one share. Let me get one more. Hi Kaylee, how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm so excited you guys are on. Everyone pipe up and tell me where you're from. Tell me what kind of day you've had. Has it been frantic and crazy like mine? I sat at the, I had one of those hurry up and wait days. I sat at the um, eye doctor's office with my son all afternoon, um, which is super frustrating because I've got so much to do today. Anyway, those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Hey Erin. Oh, garlic knots, yes, yummy. Um, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Stephanie invites me on um, every Tuesday to come do a cooking show here at Spaceships and Laser Beams. And on Thursdays, I'm over at my own site, Mama Loves Food. We also do a cooking show. Florida, yay, Florida in the house. I'm in Florida too. I'm in Orlando, well, just north of Orlando, about an hour north of Orlando. And um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Give me one second. Okay. I think that's good for right now. We might have to revisit that later, but I, I think we're okay. It says we've got 700 people. So welcome 700 people. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, we, My name is April, like I said. I'm from Mama Loves Food. We're gonna do a quick cooking show. Tonight we're gonna do Italian Sloppy Joes. And it's a really simple recipe. It's on my website. You can see in the show notes. Hi, Miguel. Hi, Rage and Marie, I like your name. Hi, hi Makala, hi, Kim. Oklahoma says hi. Hi, Oklahoma. We like Oklahoma. My dad lived there for a long time. I've, I've got an uncle and aunt there. Maybe they're watching. Um, yeah, so the, the recipe is really simple. You can find the recipe if you can't stay for the whole thing. Hi, Tracy. I'm great. Thanks. Um, if you can't stay for the whole thing, the recipe is in the show notes. Go ahead and click it. It's really simple. The basic recipe is just a pound of ground beef, a, can, a jar of... Um, Hi Jessica, a, a jar of spaghetti sauce, and then a few cups of vegetables, and then you cook it all down, and it gets this nice, like, thick, saucy, yummy deliciousness. So, um, yeah, the exact recipe that I usually use is 
up there. And then tonight, I've got some good news and some bad news, you guys. The bad news is I'm not going to be here on Thursday. And I'm sorry. I know I've grown to really, really love doing this twice a week. Um, but my daughter and I are actually flying out to Colorado for a few days. And so I will be on a plane during our normal live feed. That said, the good news is my sister's going to sub in for us. So um, she's going to pick something off the site and she's going to cook for us. So you'll have to report back to me on Tuesday and tell me how she was. I'm sure she'll be great. Um, hi, Bob. Hi, Tara. Hi, Lizzie. Thanks for chiming in, guys. I'm so excited. Okay. So we're going to get started because I feel like this is a little bit of a longer recipe and I don't want to get kicked off by Facebook before we, thank you DJ, um, I don't want to get kicked off of Facebook before we finish it. So like I said, it starts with a pound of ground beef. Now what I started to say was I'm going out of town um, for a few days, so I'm going to make a big batch. Uh, so my husband has some food to feed the kids while we're gone. I love my, thank you, I'm so glad you like it. Um, it's. We're keeping it real tonight. The sink is full of dishes, so sorry about that. Um, but you know, hey, welcome to my kitchen. I will uh, quickly go over, I'm gonna, I've got three pounds of beef here. This is way more than you need for the recipe, but this recipe freezes beautifully. So it's a really, really good one. And I just washed my hands right before we went live, so please don't worry about that. Um, hi Heidi, oh your first, First live video, yay. Alicia, no kitties, no, hopefully not. Um, they just went to bed though, so it's possible we'll get one peeking around the corner. Um, this recipe freezes beautifully though, so it's a really good one to do in a large batch, and then you'll have it to, um, you'll have it later, which is exciting, because um, I know, oh, I'm glad you like the activities with the kids. We will do, kids activities are tomorrow, so tune in at, um, at 4 p.m. tomorrow and we'll be doing a kids activity and I have not figured out what we're doing yet so uh, if you've got suggestions go ahead and let me know. Um, yeah so this freezes really well it's great so I like to make extra and keep it in my freezer and um, yeah so I'm just putting the ground beef in right now uh, I know if you asked last time what kind of ground beef I use just the cheap stuff we're gonna drain off the fat and I am gonna remember this time to put something in my sink to catch the fat because that was really bad that I didn't last time. Hi Jane, bring you some. I wish I could. Hi Fernie. You have seven girls. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's a lot of girls. I have I have four boys and one girl. So there's a lot of testosterone happening in our house. Although we have two dogs that are girls, so I don't know, maybe that makes up for it a little bit. Hi Cassie, you missed the beginning. We're making Italian sloppy joes. So right now I'm just getting the ground beef going and then I'm gonna start cutting up some vegetables. Um, and like I said, I know this is not our status quo. Usually I chat for about 10, 15 minutes first to make sure everybody gets on. Um, but I think this recipe might take a little bit longer and we're gonna try and do some easy garlic knots. Um, so I'm kind of getting going a little bit faster than normal. And I apologize for the frumpy hair and I didn't put my cute shirt on that I like to wear. Uh, we had a makeup soccer game tonight, and it just threw my whole schedule off. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Hi, Olivia. Hey, I've been waiting all day. Oh, Olivia, you're so sweet. Abig I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time reading the thing tonight. Lizzie, you made Sloppy Joes the other day. Yay. Abigail, Ab Abigail Josie, it's my first time watching. Oh, yay. Thanks for joining. Okay. So we've learned that this little stove top, or, um, Individual burner, uh, if you've watched a few of my other shows, we've learned that it takes a, it takes a little while to get going. So that's why we're gonna get, get this going in the background. I look fantastic. Aw, thanks, wear your PJs to work. I do normally wear my PJs to cook. I'm sure at some point, you know, we've only been doing this a month or two now, so at some point I'll get really comfortable and I'll be in my PJs with, you know, no makeup on. But for now, we're kind of, it's kind of an in-between night. <laughs> Anyway, for those of you just tuning in, for those of you who are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please take a moment. And uh, There should be a button in the top right hand corner somewhere in this area of your screen to go ahead and subscribe and that'll just give you a real quick notice every time I'm coming on. It's nothing crazy, it's not spam, it's just, you know, Facebook kind of chiming and going, hey, Mama Loves Food is on live, or actually in this case since we're on, uh, we're on... Um, Stephanie's page, Spaceships and Laser Beams, it'll give you a little heads up when 
um, Stephanie's got something going live, so. Yeah. Oh, that's not one to come up. Okay, so the vegetables I chose tonight, and you can choose whatever your family likes. Um, please don't feel constricted to the vegetables I'm choosing. Um, but the ones I chose tonight are summer squash, zucchini squash, and eggplant. And then I'm also going to throw, did you use oil or butter in the pan first? Uh... I don't normally put anything in the pan, um, but I kind of stripped it a little bit earlier this week um, by accident. I burned something in it, so the um, the finish isn't as as hardcore as it should be. So I threw a tiny bit of bacon grease in the bottom. I would not suggest normally doing that if your if your pan is seasoned well. There's no reason to, but I had some of the seasoning stripped off. So Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Okay, Jesse. Oh boy, did you see the did you see the uh, Jungle Book? Is that why you're saying that? Or no, that's a song. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so that's what we're using. So we've got zucchini. Was butter or oil? Um, I used a tiny bit of bacon grease, but normally you don't need to because I, I'm, you know, ground beef has lots and lots of fat, enough fat that we're going to end up draining quite a bit out. Um, so normally I would not put anything in the pan, but, 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 but. I did put a little in today because my seasoning was lacking, so. Anyway, so that's what we've got here. We've got ground beef going. I'm going to get our summer squash, our zucchini, and our um, eggplant going, cutting, cut up. We're going to work on that. And I brought my mandolin out. Oh, and I'm also going to use mushrooms, garlic, and onion. And like I said, this recipe is so versatile. There's a couple things that are really nice about it. One, it's super versatile. So if your family hates eggplant, skip the eggplant. No big deal. Um, but also, I would I would kind of suggest trying it with vegetables maybe that your your um, kids are wary of because it it hides the flavor of the vegetables really well. Um, so my kids don't care for eggplant, but they eat this and don't realize it's in there because it's all mixed in with the uh, the ground beef and everything else so I brought my mandolin out and I'm, I'm going back and forth on whether I'm going to use it I know we're a little bit constrained for time so I feel like maybe we should but I'm always afraid I'm going to lose a finger and I don't really want to lose a finger on live Facebook so I don't know we'll see I haven't decided yet I'm going to cut that sticker off because it is it's not going to come off I'm going to do that um yeah so Sorry guys, I just totally lost my train of thought. Tonight we're doing um, Italian. I got this. Is it better to put bacon? I am new to using cast iron. Is pre-seasoned. Um, so cast iron generally comes pre-seasoned. That said, it's not going to be seasoned like your grandmother's was. It's just not. Uh, you're going to want to cook like two or three pounds of bacon first. And you're going to want to put... A little bit of oil in the bottom. I, I'm a fan of a little bit of bacon grease. I render, you know, we cook our bacon generally in the oven. And then I, excuse me, I, um, I, I use like a cheesecloth or, or a strainer and I strain the bacon grease into a jar. And we use that for cooking and seasoning pans and whatnot. Um, you should never do an original season with bacon grease but maintenance seasoning is fine with breaking grease, and that's what I tend to use. And I tend to put a little bit, um, unless we've done a couple of really, really greasy things in a row and it's just very well seasoned, um, you know, in that case, I would just skip seasoning at all. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I would throw a little bit of oil or bacon grease in the bottom. So, yeah, hopefully that answers that question. Similar to, yes, it's exactly like a well-used wok. It's exactly the same. It's uh, not the same material, obviously, but it's the same concept. It does this, it gets seasoned. The, um, it has, you know, there's a very, there's a very science-y explanation for why it all works. It has to do with, I'm sorry for the beeping in the background. That's my coffee maker. It has to do with polymers bonding or something, but I am, I'm nerdy, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not that, not quite. But if somebody wants to explain it, if they know exactly how it works, I'd love to hear it. Okay, so I'm going to scoot that out of the way while it's browning. And we're going to start with the eggplant. And for now, unless I feel like we're running out of time, I'm going to skip the mandolin. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring it out in a minute. Coffee talk. I'm actually not making coffee. So my little trick with my coffee maker, I, make, I, I try not to drink coffee except in the morning. And even in the morning, I drink decaf. Um, 
but it's still, you know, even decaf has a little bit of caffeine in it. And I'm super sensitive to caffeine. And I'm going to get a good knife because that one's crummy. Um, sorry, guys. Give me one second. So, yeah, I'm really sensitive to caffeine. So I only have a cup in the morning or maybe two or three cups in the morning. But never, I try not to drink it in the past the afternoon. Anyway, so the reason you always hear my um, coffee maker go off when we've got the show on is that I, my three-year-old has become very interested in, in fire. So when I, when I light a candle lately, he's like, ooh, I'm going to light the house on fire. I'm sorry, my three-year-old, my two-year-old, my almost three-year-old. Anyway, um, so instead of lighting a candle lately, what I've been doing is putting the candle, turning my coffee maker, the burner part on, and putting the candle on there, and it melts, and it smells wonderful, just like a candle. So that's what I've been doing. No Java past 2 p.m. here. Yeah, see, I, I can't do it either. Even even decaf, I'll tell you, it just it messes with me, and then I don't sleep, and I'm jittery, and I'm, it's no fun. I don't like that feeling. So, those of you just tuning in, thank you for joining us. We are making Italian Sloppy Joes tonight. Right now I'm cutting up the eggplant over here. You can see it probably in the corner of your um, screen. We've got some ground beef cooking. And, you know, I went back and forth on which pan to use. I'm just such a, I love my cast iron, so I wanted to use that. But I'm worried a little bit that we're going to run out of room, and I might have to switch pans. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I could do it in two batches, too, if we really need to. Anyway, so I'm just going to cut these into chunks. And I won't necessarily use all the vegetables I cut. We'll kind of play it by sight. I'd say play it by ear, but that wouldn't make much sense. I did not know you can do that with your coffee maker. Yes, yes, it's such a good trick, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, you could get those scent warmers, but, I mean, why? If you've got a coffee maker, it does the same thing. It just warms it up and, yeah. So, um, and those of you who don't have time to hang out with us for an hour and a half, I totally understand. I'm wordy and it's kind of a long show. Um, so you can get the recipe in the show notes. I put it up there. I've also put links to a lot of the things we're using tonight because um, people like to know what we use. So um, most of those are the actual items I'm using. There's a couple, the stainless steel bowls, um, which well, I love. Uh, I got mine at Costco, and I, I, think I, I think I linked the exact... Um, I think I linked the exact bowls, but I, don't quote me on it, but I mean they're stainless steel bowls. How different could they be, right? I love mine though. I absolutely love them. I'm sure if you've tuned in more than once, you've seen them. You've seen them, you've seen them. Okay. Good, good. This is browning nicely. So we are making Italian Sloppy Joes. Right now I'm cutting up the eggplant for them. We've got the meat browning. Um, we're going to add eggplant, summer squash, zucchini, mushrooms, onions, garlic. Um, and like I said, if, if your family doesn't like those things, if there's any one thing or all of them that your family doesn't like, the base recipe is a, is a pound of ground beef and a can of sauce, and then you cook it down until it's nice and thick and sloppy joe goopy. Um, and you could just do it like that, you know, if your kids really just aren't into the vegetables or if you aren't into the vegetables, you can, you can make it really simply. But I like to add the vegetables because I find, obviously they add nutrition, which is nice. Um, but I think it tastes good. And my kids don't complain about it because the sauce is really the overpowering flavor, the sauce and the meat. So, um, yeah, they, they eat it. Occasionally, they'll, I'll, you know, they'll recognize a mushroom and pick it out. But for the most part, I feel like it gets a lot of good stuff in them. Especially if you put it on a bun and they can't really see what they're eating. <laughs> you know, I tell them it's sloppy joes and they eat it. So, yeah. And then if we have got time, I'm going to try to do... Some really simple garlic knots, just using crescent rolls. And I put the recipe for that up in the uh, show notes as well. So I'd love if you guys chimed in and told me how your day was. Mine was insane. It was, like I said earlier, it was kind of those, one of those hurry up and wait days. I needed to be 18 different places and ended up sitting at the eye doctor's office with my son all afternoon. He wears glasses, so it was his yearly visit. Hi, Sarah. Oh, I'm glad you didn't miss me too. Love the veggie combo. Thank you. Hi, Becca. I'm glad you think it's yummy. Um, yeah, so that was my day. We uh, I had a sitter in the morning, and I got a little bit of work done, and then we had to run to the doctor's office, and then we had a makeup soccer game in the afternoon, and it was just, I haven't stopped moving today. 
too tired. <laughs> and um, for those of you just tuning in and who are, you know, like to see me regularly, yay, thank you. I really appreciate it. I want to let you know, though, uh, I won't be here on Thursday. Eh, I know. I'm sorry. That said, look, I'm pointing with a knife. I'm not stabbing you, I promise. Um, my sister's gonna gonna sub in for us. I'm really excited. So um, she lives in Washington, D.C., but with the power of the internet, the magic of the internet, um, she's gonna go ahead and tune in and, and do the show for us. That's on Thursday, our Thursday show. And then I'll be back for next Tuesday, and you guys can report and tell me how she did. I'm sure she'll do great. I'm not worried in the slightest. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening. My daughter and I are going to Boulder. I actually went to University of Colorado for my first semester of college, and my aunt and uncle live out there, and my one of my dear girlfriends um, is an anthropologist, and she's going out there for a conference, and she said, hey, you want to bunk with me? You, so Josie and I are tagging along, and we're going to see my aunt and uncle and spend some time. No, I'll be, okay, Sarah. I, I won't be here, but somebody will. I promise. And my sister's gonna do a, uh, my sister is going to do a recipe for my site. Uh, if you guys love her, which I hope you will, I think she's gonna start doing some regular appearances. Um, I'll still do my Tuesday and Thursday, um, but maybe she'll come on on like a Monday or something, so we can have lots of programming. Yeah. So that's the idea. Anyway, like I said, I'm just cutting all this up, and you know what? If you guys want to make this an even easier recipe I'm going to give you a trick you can get you know in the freezer section the vegetables this vegetable soup mix it's all the vegetables for vegetable soup grab one of those it'll work just fine um, I like to use vegetables that aren't necessarily in the vegetable soup mix so that's why I didn't do it this way also it would have been like a two minute show if we had done it that way and I um, yeah I want to be on a little bit longer than that um, but yeah, so that's a super easy way to do it. Get a can of, excuse me, a can of spaghetti sauce or a jar of spaghetti sauce, a pound of meat and a soup mix, a vegetable soup mix and put them on the stove. I'm going to put, this is eight ounces of mushrooms. I'm going to toss in here. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to chop them up a little bit first. So they're a little bit less recognizable. Some of my kids are a little iffy on the mushrooms. Hi guys, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the comments real quick, I'm not, they seem to be slowing down and I'm not sure if it's because you guys are just watching and not commenting or if I'm losing comments, but it looks like we just got, oh hi Claudia, I don't do ground beef, can I do ground turkey? Absolutely, you could do ground turkey, I'm telling you guys, this recipe is so unbelievably versatile, you could do ground beef, you could do ground turkey, you could do, um, you could do ground chicken, you could do veal, you could do pork. I mean, you really, you could do anything. Whatever your family likes, whatever you like. I made your peanut butter cookies from last week. Oh, I'm so glad you guys liked them. Yay. You know, and if you make them, I would love if you post them on my Facebook wall so people can see. That would be awesome. Or, um, <laughs> hi, hi, Olivia under Jeremiah. I'm glad you came back. Um, yeah, so post them on my wall or on Spaceships and Laser Beams so we can see them, that you liked them and you tried the recipes. I got several messages, or you can just message me, that's cool too, I love to chat. Those of you who have messaged me know that I, uh, I usually write back in about somewhere between 20 minutes and an hour, I'm not usually far from my phone, unless we're doing a kid activity. Um, anyway, so I'm just chopping up 8 ounces of mushrooms right now, and like I said, I'm making an extra big batch so I can put it in my freezer. Because if I'm going to make it, I may as well make it for a few times, right? Um, yeah, so there we go. We've chopped up the mushrooms. And you don't have to chop the mushrooms. I'm only doing it because some of my kids are. Italian sausage and ground beef would be a good, yeah, that would be excellent. That would be really, really good, especially like a spicy Italian sausage. I bet my husband would love that. Hi, Don. What's chopped up so far? So, so far in the bowl, I have um, an eggplant, a small eggplant, and eight ounces of mushrooms. There you go. Yes, freezer. Freezer cooking is the best. Do you guys do freezer cooking? We have, you're going to laugh, we have um, our regular upright freezer, which is over there. We have an upright in the garage because an extra one came with the house when we bought it. And we've got two chest freezers. And they're usually full because I'm terrified of not having food in the house with five kids. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. And we, we do a lot of impromptu entertaining. Uh, we don't have anyone here tonight, but if you've watched 
over the past month, probably every other episode we've had somebody here. So yeah, we do a lot of entertaining. So I like to have, I like to have food ready. I don't like to be caught unawares with food. So yeah. What kind of things do you guys like to cook for your freezer? I'd love some new ideas. I know we've kind of got our standbys. I'm going to grab a, an oven mitt for this so I don't accidentally burn my hand in front of you guys. That would be embarrassing. Tell me what kind of stuff you cook ahead for the oven, though. I want to hear. I'm definitely curious and always looking to, I'm always looking to increase my, my menu because it's kind of what I do. So, yeah, so now I'm cutting up the summer squash and... We're already half an hour in, so I'm wondering if I should speed things along a little bit. Oh, yeah. Stir our meat. Our meat is almost all browned now. Yay! No, I think we're doing all right. Okay. So we're almost totally browned. And those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Thank you so much for joining us. We're here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Tuesdays, I um, we originate at Spaceships and Laser Beams. And on Thursdays, we originate at Mama Loves Food, but you can find me in both places. Steffi and I work together um, and share between the pages. So if you subscribe here, that would be wonderful. And if you like the page too, you'll be more likely to see it. Shepherd's Pie Freeze as well. Oh, I've never tried that before. I'm gonna scoot over here real quick and do a share because um, it looks like we might be losing a couple people. And then I'll cut up the summer squash. I'll tell you, summer squash is one of my favorite things. And um, it doesn't seem like, to me anyway, it doesn't seem like the most kid-friendly food. But my kids love it. We do it with um, just butter and garlic and a little bit of salt. And they, they eat it up, man. They love it. Zucchini and summer squash, the big one. And I do sometimes, I, have, I don't think it's on my website, but... Um, I do a summer squash soup. It's really similar if you guys have done the, um, sorry, if you guys have done the sweet corn soup on my website, it's the exact same method, but I use summer squash. And that's a really good one. That's one we should do. We should do the sweet corn soup sometime. Shepherd's pie. Chicken parm freeze as well. Oh, I've never even thought to do that. My kids love chicken parm. I'll tell you a secret about lasagna. I buy it. I buy it frozen. I buy the Stouffer's. My kids really love the Stouffer's frozen lasagna, and uh, I'm not a huge lasagna eater, so I just, that's what I do for lasagna, but chicken parm we do make sometimes, so I should try that. Jeremiah, we love zucchini. My husband hates it. I make it anyway. <laughs> that's how I feel about um, asparagus. My husband's not an asparagus fan, but I love it, so I make it anyway, and it's delicious. So good. So those of you just tuning in, we're making uh, Italian Italian sloppy joes. We've got ground beef going over here. We've got ooh, we've got um, eggplant, mushrooms, and now I'm doing some summer squash. We're also going to add some zucchini. We are also going to add some onion and garlic, and that's what we're doing right now. And you can do the pieces as small or big as you like. It's really just however how big you want the texture. I roast tomatoes in the garden with garlic on cookie sheets. Oh, that's such a good idea. Jennifer says, skate, basil, pesto. Oh, these are great These are great ideas that I do not do. Thank you. I'm going to go back and write all these down later. My biggest thing, I was actually telling one of the gals from um, Soccer and Night, hi, Jen, if you're on. Um, I do a lot of frozen proteins. Just we'll, I'll bake you know, a huge tray of just chicken breasts or a giant batch of, um, of ground beef or ground turkey. That way I've got, you know, I'm a little on the fickle side when it comes to food and what I like, what I'm, what I'm craving at the beginning of the week isn't necessarily what I'll be craving at the end of the week. So if I have some plain proteins, you know, I can, I can add spaghetti sauce or I can add curry or I can add, um, you know, whatever I'm in the mood for that night or whatever my kids are in the mood for that night. So I do that a lot. Ice cube trays. That's smart. What is a sloppy joe? Vin's a sloppy joe. Okay, so a traditional sloppy joe is a tomato, is a ground beef with a tomato-based sauce, but it's on the sweet side. Think like, think tomato paste plus barbecue sauce is really what, that's what a traditional sloppy joe is. So, and then you serve it on a bun, and it's, I just totally, did you see that? I almost cut my finger. It didn't, but I almost did. Um, yeah, so you put it, um, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, you put it on a bun. And it's sloppy. I don't know where the joe comes from, but 
uh, yeah, so that's what a traditional sloppy joe is. We're making Italian sloppy joes, so we're just doing it with Italian flavors. We're using, uh, my daughter loves broccoli. Do you have any different recipes without milk in it? Yeah, um, I don't know that I really make broccoli with milk, so yeah, we do a roasted broccoli um, that's really good. If you look that up, Mama Loves Food, best broccoli, best roasted broccoli ever, I believe is the name. Anyway, oh, you're welcome, Vince. Anyway, so the Italian version is just, uh, it's a spaghetti sauce based instead of a, a sweet sauce based, and we're putting in vegetables with it. So that's what we're doing. And I'm a little bit on the slow side tonight, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get this done. Like I said, I, you know, I pulled out the mandolin to use, but I'm always terrified of cutting a finger off. And I don't want to do it on live. I think I need to get better with the mandolin first. But I've got a nice one. I use it for pickles. And um, whew, I feel like I'm just talking and talking. Sorry, guys. Um, I was thinking maybe next week, maybe next week, we would do pickles. I get a lot of pick. The the refrigerator pickles on my website is probably one of the top five uh, most popular recipes. And it's so easy and it's so good. So I was thinking maybe we could do that one night. And then maybe after the pickles are all steeped and ready, we could do fried pickles another night. Maybe some uh, homemade ranch dressing. I make a chicken lasagna that is really good. Oh, yummy chicken lasagna. That sounds good. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Becca. Hi, Ruth. So, yeah. So, we're getting our summer squash. And I will not, I started to say earlier, I will probably not use all of these vegetables um, in this one recipe. I will probably bag some up and put them in the... Um, in a freezer for another time, um, but I I bought them so I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up so they don't go bad. Cause I don't know about you guys, but if I don't prep my vegetables, they end up sitting in the bottom drawer of my fridge, and three weeks later I have a really exceedingly unappealing vegetable soup at the bottom of my fridge. So I try, I try. It doesn't always happen, but I try to go ahead and get the prep done. Um, you know, the first night or two. We cannot see what you're cutting. I'm sorry, guys. Am I scooting out of the way? Here we go. Spaghetti squash. I'm cutting spaghetti squash. Although a minute ago, I almost cut my finger off because I wasn't paying attention. I know I was so worried about cutting myself with a mandolin, and then I almost cut, cut myself with a butcher's knife. How long do they stay fresh in the freezer? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking about they. If you're asking about the vegetables, you can keep it. They're never, they're never going to be the same... Um, freshness as when as before you put them in the freezer because the cellular structure will change it expands so when you take them out they're going to be mushy so you're never going to treat them like a you're never going to treat them like a fresh vegetable after that so you'll always want to use them in like soups or stews um, that said in an upright freezer things generally last three to six months um, and in a chest freezer they will last um, six to 18 months um, so yeah a long time the reason things don't last as long in an upright freezer is because upright freezers, the ones you have in your kitchen generally, are auto defrosting. So their temperature fluctuates, and that's why you get a lot more. Um, that's why you get a lot more freezer burn in there because it'll defrost a little bit and and, and refreeze and defrost a little bit, and that's that's what it's supposed to do. Um, that's why when you open a an upright freezer, you don't see lots of frost on the side like you do in a chest freezer. So yeah, peppers do better frozen. Yeah, peppers do very well frozen. We like to we like to freeze peppers. I'm not using peppers tonight, but that would be a very good addition to this recipe as well. We are using ground beef. We are using summer squash. We are using zucchini. We are using mushroom, onion, and garlic. And if I don't hurry up, we're never gonna finish in time. So I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to hustle. Okay. So now I'm cutting the zucchini, and uh, we didn't, you know, I got going right away this time, which is so unlike me. Um, we didn't do our FAQs, so we'll go ahead and do that now. So behind me is, the sink is from Ikea. I always get lots of messages about where my sink is from. It's from Ikea. It's got to be, it's probably the, I should say, when we priced them, it was the least expensive farm sink. You could, uh, question, would a crock pot be a possible way to do this? Okay, so the problem with the crock pot is... We want this to cook down, and in a crock pot, you're sealing all the moisture in. We actually want this to cook down and get really thick. So you could get it going in a crock pot and get all the flavors to stew. Sorry, my shirt keeps catching. 
Um, you can get all the flavors to stew together and then maybe take the lid off or at least crack the crock pot for the last um, maybe hour-ish. And that would work. That would work. And there's a moth in my kitchen. Hi, moth. Um, yeah, so that's how you would do it in a crock pot. But you don't want to do it the whole time in a crock pot. Yeah, a big ass crock pot. A very large crock pot would. Oh, I mean, we've got a giant 20, 20 quart roaster that doubles as a crock pot, and you can certainly do that. We do chili in it sometimes. Um, so yeah, the crock pot's not a definite, not a hard no, but it's not just a set it and forget it recipe in that respect because you want it to cook down and get thick. Um, and the crock pot is specifically made not to cook down. Um, not to lose moisture, which is kind of their claim to fame that it, everything will stay juicy in there. Oops, moisture, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my sink is from Ikea, and I was really worried because it was far and away the least expensive farm sink we found. So of course, you know, in the back of your mind, you're going, ooh, am I, sac ooh, I'm getting myself all wet, sorry. Um, are we sacrificing quality for price? And I guess I, we've had it almost, it'll be four years in October, so three and a half years. And I love it. It's great. I have no complaints about it. Um, you know, you soft scrub once a week or so and get it nice and bright and clean again. And uh, yeah, so I love that. So uh, people ask me all the time what I recommend it. I would absolutely 100% recommend it. Definitely. Let's see, what's another question I get? Oh, in the, in the window we have basil, aloe, green onion, and Basil, aloe, green onion, and mint. Uh, moisture is a very weird word. It really is a weird word. It's uh, not my favorite word, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, so that's what we've got going there. And then the little mini garbage can to the, to the side of the sink is my temporary compost bin. So that's where we put, I'll put all the tops of the zucchinis and stuff in there. And then tomorrow I'll torture one of my kids and make them go throw it out in the compost pile. What else? Uh, oh, we've got my KitchenAid back there. I got a fun story about the KitchenAid. I had a KitchenAid. I had that exact one. And if my Aunt Dawn's watching, um, I have an, I, I'm apologizing to you right now for the story. Um, so I had that exact KitchenAid when we got married 13-ish years ago. And we, after we had kids, we went through a time where money was really tight. So it was one of the first things to get sold. And... Uh, but I regretted it. I totally regretted it because, you know, I, I didn't use it really before because I was working so many hours and we really didn't eat at home much. Um, but of course, that's, you know, when we had kids, that's when we started eating at home and I would, I wanted it. I missed it. So just this last year, about six or so months ago, oh, I guess, no, it was for my birthday, for my birthday. So last August, my husband said, get yourself a mixer. So yay. And I researched and I found the most beautiful, like, it's like this reddish pink cherry. I beautiful mixer. I loved it. And it was like 400 something dollars and I'm just too cheap for that and I couldn't bring myself to do it. So instead, I got on to our local um community site and I said, "Hey guys, I'm about to spend a lot of money on a mixer, but is there anyone around here that's got one just gathering dust in their garage that I can pay them for because you know, it's a lot of money." And by the next day, I had three of these exact KitchenAid mixers. And so my sister took one and a girlfriend took one and I got one. And I paid a total of about, a, I want to say, $200 for all three. And they all work great and it's fine. So there's a good tip if you guys are in the market for a KitchenAid mixer and don't want to spend retail. Get on your local community sites and just see if anyone's got one hanging out in their garage. Because I got like the deal of the century on those. And they work great. I use it all the time. Love it, love it. I wore my KitchenAid out. Wow, that's impressive. I didn't even know that was possible. I guess if you're, are you doing a lot of doughs and stuff? I don't do a lot of heavy doughs. Um, I do shred chicken. <laughs> and I do lighter doughs. I do, I like to do meringue cookies. My kids really like those. And those are fun to do. Alright, what are we down to? We've gone 39 minutes. Oh, April, April. Hustle, hustle. Okay. You know, I'm going to go ahead and the beef is brown now, so I'm going to go ahead and drain it with something in the bottom of my sink so I don't destroy my sink. And I'm going to do that now. Let me see. I should say so I don't destroy my plumbing. 
thing. It's not the sink that's the issue, it's the plumbing. Okay, so we've got that there to catch it. Hi, Mandy. Yes, isn't it great for shredding chicken? Such a fun trick. Okay. And where'd my oven mitt go? So the recipe, the normal recipe calls for a pound of ground beef and I'm using, I'm using three pounds. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know if everything's gonna fit in here. But it might. I'm just gonna drain this. I can feel the front of my shirt getting soaked. Yep. All right, okay, so I've drained. I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. And finish draining a little bit more. I'm gonna finish the zucchini. Those of you just tuning in, shreds pork awesome too. Oh, I've never tried it for pork, Aaron. That's a good idea. Those of you just tuning in, welcome. My name's April. Please, please, please hit subscribe on iPhones, on computers, and some other devices. I'm not sure what. Um, the subscribe button is right over here. I'm on every Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesdays, I'm here at Spaceships and Laser Beams. Um, Stephanie invites me to come on and do a quick cooking show. Quick, I, it's a relative term. Um, and then on Thursdays, I'm at Mama Loves Food, and I do a cooking show over there. Both shows are at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then Wednesdays, I'm also at Mama Loves Food in the afternoon around 4, doing kids crafts with my kids. So if you want to feel better about how well-behaved your kids are, you can tune in then and watch them crawl all over me like monkeys, which they do. Um, so yeah, so if you could hit subscribe, and then I believe on Android devices, it's at the top of the comments. So you have to scroll all the way up the comments, and there should be a subscribe button there. Yeah, so, okay. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of vegetables. We've got summer squash, we've got mushrooms, we've got zucchini, and we've got eggplant in there. And I'm going to give it a little toss. I probably should have used my even bigger bowl, huh? Let's do that. Some mushrooms at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to switch into my bigger bowl. I'm telling you, I love these bowls. Love them so hard. Okay. There we go. We're going to give them a little toss. We're going to throw some in. The fun thing too about this recipe is if you chop way too many vegetables like I clearly did. Ooh. Sorry. Mmm. Mindy, hop on tomorrow. We'll be there. I have not decided what we're going to do yet, so I apologize. We're going to wing it. Anyway, so the nice thing about this recipe though is the vegetables and everything, we're cooking it down. We're um, letting the steam come off. We're getting it really... Um, Thick. So if you originally cut too many vegetables, you can add as you go, as they cook down more. Just add another handful of vegetables in when you're ready. So there we go. We are adding our vegetables. And while we do that, I'm going to add spaghetti sauce. And there's no right way to add this. You can add, I could have dumped the ground beef in with this. I could have put the spaghetti sauce in first. There's no right way to do it. So we're just going to pour the whole can in there. And since I've got a smaller pan, then really is ideal. And I, so the reason I did that, I went back and forth on whether to use, I have a huge pan I could have used. Excuse me. I have a huge pan I could have used, but my, this little burner, this mini burner that I use so you guys can see me, um, it doesn't, it doesn't heat as well as my stove top does. So I didn't want... I didn't want, I didn't want to overwhelm it with a giant pan. So there, we've got that. I'm gonna bring our drained beef back over. I'm gonna use that pan here so I don't ruin my, my uh, surface. Okay, and I'm gonna spoon some of the ground beef in. Now, like I said, if I was doing this in a big pot, I would just put it all in together at once. I wouldn't do this piecemeal thing, but for the sake of our show, I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing as we did it, and hopefully you can see. I'm realizing that you might not be able to see even. I'm gonna scoot, I'll scoot the whoop, giant knife that I don't want to land on my toe. I bet this would taste good at high altitude in St. Boulder. Yes, Sarah, maybe I should make a pot for my aunt and uncle. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this burner closer so you guys can see. There we go. Can you see what's happening now? So in the pot we have 
one jar of spaghetti sauce, and I'm going to add more spaghetti sauce because we've got much more than the, I've got much more meat and vegetables than the recipe calls for. We've got a jar of spaghetti sauce, we've got our cut vegetables, and now I'm putting in some ground beef. And like I said, as the vegetables cook down, um, you can add more vegetables if you're running out of space in your pot. <laughs> which, I mean, ideally you want to use a bigger pot, but I wanted you guys to be able to see. What am I preparing? Hi, Carla. I'm making um, Italian sloppy joes. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to grab another jar of spaghetti sauce. I'm going to toss a few more veggies in. I'm going to grab another jar of spaghetti sauce, and then I'm going to cut up our onion. We've got onion and garlic still to go in. Oh, actually, I could just go ahead and mince the garlic next to it. All right. There we go. And... I don't know, maybe you can hear it sizzling, it's sizzling. And those of you in Florida, or I think Georgia too, Newman's Own is BOGO at Publix right now, buy one, get one, as our chicken breasts. So um, I apologize, Winter Springs, I bought all the chicken breasts, just like I bought all the pork last week, because I got a billion kids. So I take advantage of the BOGOs. Yeah, so those are two kind of winners. Also, oh, I forgot to pour a glass of wine. We'll have to do that in a second. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cook. And I gotta say, this is thicker sauce than I, are, I usually use, so it's gonna probably cook a little faster. And if you wanna cook it longer, so say your vegetables don't simmer to the point where you were expecting, just add a little bit of water or chicken broth. Um, yeah, and you can cook it longer until your vegetables cook down to the point where you want them. So the point isn't just to make it a nice thick thing it's also to make it the vegetables cook down and everything kind of simmer together and yeah yeah that's where we're at so there we go and i don't recommend any particular spaghetti sauce um i think on the website i used barilla which was very tasty i've used i've, I've probably used every spaghetti sauce known to man for this recipe well, every spaghetti sauce that goes on sale anyway. Hi, Nathan. Okay, the veggies I'm using are um, zucchini. I'm using zucchini, mushrooms, summer squash, and eggplant. That's what's in so far. And I've got an onion around. Oh, there's my onion. An onion that I'm going to go ahead and cut up and put in as well. And I'm going I'm to do probably four or five cloves of garlic because I love garlic. It's delicious. So I'll do that. Let's see. Sorry guys, I'm just making my garlic press. And if you don't have a garlic press and you love garlic, I strongly suggest you get one. It is one of my favorite, 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 favorite kitchen tools. I don't think I said favorite enough because honest to goodness, it's my favorite. I'm going to throw these. I've got these crescent rolls that I want to use in a little bit, but just in case we don't get to them, I'm going to scoot them out of the way so they don't go bad. Anyway, okay. So yeah, I adore this garlic press. Hi Dawn, low or medium heat? Okay, I've got it on medium low right now. So yeah, so just a simmer. And where's my, yeah, so it's at, a, it's at a low simmer. Definitely not a high heat, because you'll scorch the bottom and that is not. I scorched a batch of chili once and that was a sad, sad day. My dad actually ate it anyway. He said it tasted like campfire chili, but I think he was just being kind to me because it was gross, guys, it was gross. Okay. So I'm going to squeeze. I've got these pretty giant garlic cloves in. And I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as too much garlic. Go ahead and tell me if you disagree. We can fight about it. But, yeah. Definitely don't believe there's a such thing as too much garlic. Loving garlic. I'm telling you, garlic's the best. And it's so good for you. It's like, got all kinds of health benefits, right? It's a natural, I believe... All right, don't quote me on this. I'm not a doctor or a scientist or anything, but I believe it's got natural antibacterials and natural antibiotics and all that fun stuff. I know I read an article, and who knows, maybe it was a hippy-dippy one, but um, I read an article that said they've shown that if you eat enough garlic, it's almost the same as taking medicine for your cold. I don't know. Do you guys have any, like, standby cold remedies? I'll tell you what I do, and you're probably going to think I'm crazy, but... I eat roasted garlic, because it's delicious, um, and I eat uh, roasted bone marrow. I'm convinced that bone marrow is just like, it's delicious. I think it's delicious. I know a lot of people think it's disgusting and slimy and gross, but I think it's delicious. 
my chili. Yes, chili is yummy. Ugh, I need a garlic press. Yes, you do. Get a garlic press. They, this is, I got this one at Publix. I put a link in the, um, I put in a link into the, in the show notes to this exact one too. And I, I really like this one because, um, sorry, I'm not paying attention because it's got the option to both mince and slice, which is nice. Um, I don't use the slice very often, but when I do, you know, if you want it to look if you're not doing, oh, that, look at the size of that garlic. That is enormous. If you're not doing a recipe like this where the garlic's gonna, gonna be, you know, cooked into it, or maybe you're gonna have shavings on top or something. Um, yeah, it looks really pretty with the sliced one. But not today. That's not what we're doing today. Those of you just tuning in, we are doing Italian sloppy joes. And honestly, guys, you know, I'm only going to cook it as long as the show, but a lot of times I'll make it in the morning and just let it cook all day and just add a little bit of, you know, add a little bit more water as need be to make sure it doesn't um, boil dry. But that gets it just super, oh, I don't know what the word is. Just makes it all, all the flavors meld really nice. Kind of like when you do chili and you let it cook all day. Same, same idea. All right, so that was... I think four giant garlic cloves, so that should be good for now. And then we'll cut an onion and stick it in there. And I've still got, um, whoop, sorry. I like to take it out quickly because um, garlic is really sticky and it's, it's not impossible by any means to get out if you wait, but it does make it a little bit harder. And my husband is so sweet and does almost all the dishes, so I try not to make it harder on him if I can avoid it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna stir that garlic in. And our, oop, that is not meant to be in there. We're stirring our garlic in. And those of you just tuning in, we are making Italian sloppy joes. And they are very delicious. And my kids love them and I love them and yum. Okay, I'm turning up the heat a little more because it seems like we're losing heat. I'm telling you, this burner is not, is not the best. I am not gonna give you a link for that because I would not, I would probably wouldn't recommend it. But it's working for what we're doing, and I don't have the magic of television. I'm not going to be able to go like, hey, so this is what it looks like after it's simmered for eight hours. Well, I can. I can tell you to go to the website, and you'll be able to see it. Um, and that's what it looks like if it's simmered for a really, really long time, which obviously we don't have the time to do that, but that's okay. And you can eat it like this. You know, I like the taste of these vegetables, so I would have no problem just pouring this into a bowl as it is right now and chowing down. Um... But the recipe that I, um, the intended recipe is for you to boil it down and, and so all the flavors meld together. Yeah. Anyway, you do it how you like though. It's a really versatile recipe like we were saying at the beginning. If you don't like the vegetables we chose, fix vapor rub on the bottom of your feet. We do that too. That's a good one. Um, yeah. So, what was I saying? Yeah, if you don't like the vegetables we chose, no big deal. Use ones that you like. Right now I'm just cutting up the onion. Um, yeah, just use ones you like. And ignore my suggestions. No big deal. You could put some maybe fresh basil and fresh oregano in it. Actually, we could totally throw some fresh basil from the windowsill in. Um, somebody suggested green peppers. You could change the meats up. Somebody said they don't like ground beef, so you could do turkey, you could do sausage, you could do venison, I mean really, it's super, super, I'd eat it as is, I'm telling you it's good, Becca, you don't, I mean, like I said, it's not the intended way to do it, but when does that ever stop this, right? All right, so I'm just chopping this, this is just a sweet yellow onion on the small side. You know, I think, I feel like this, this burner is one of those you get what you pay for things, I, I was going to splurge and get the expensive convection burner that had great reviews, but it was almost $100, so I didn't do it because I'm penny conscious because I have five kids, and uh, I, this one's $20 from Target, and it's fine. It's not bad. I don't want to give it, I don't want to say that. It's just, you know, we kind of cook big batches here, so I probably shouldn't leave that there. It's going to melt a minute, so... Yeah, maybe something a little bit more, um, a little bit bigger probably would have worked better and something that heats up faster, but that's okay. That's okay. We're making do. This is real life. 
Onions melt down fast. Yes, they do, absolutely. That's true. Okay, so we're throwing in some sweet yellow onion, a pair of hill figures, and an, an afflicted t-shirt, $120 at Macy's. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, other than if you bought that, you spent too much money. Okay. Is that your cold remedy, shopping? I do like shopping, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy a good shop. Excuse me, God, I thought I was gonna sneeze for a minute. Um, yeah, that would've been gross, right into the food. All right, I can hear this thing wanting to boil on the bottom. I don't, we don't want it, you don't want it to get scorched, that's for sure. We're cooking, we're getting there. Yum, it smells amazing, I'll tell you that. Oh, for those of you who are curious, I changed the scent in my necklace today. Woohoo! It's lavender because I'm stressing about, about, I'm stressing, blah, I'm stressing out. I'm totally, hugely, crazy stressing out about flying on Thursday. I'm flying to Boulder with my daughter and I hate flying, you guys. I do not like it. I do not like anything about flying. It scares the bejesus out of me. I shouldn't say I don't like anything. I, you know, for the moments that I can kind of disconnect, ooh, I just sent an onion flying across the kitchen. For the moments that I can disconnect myself from the fact that you're in a, you know, metal tube curling through the air, it's actually kind of peaceful looking out the window and um, the white noise and all that, but I have a hard time, I have a hard time getting there. <laughs> it scares me. So anyway, thought maybe a little lavender would help. I don't know that it's helped, but it does smell good. So I'm just cutting up. Those of you just joining, we are making, th um, I almost said three ingredients. It's definitely not three ingredients. We're making Italian sloppy joes. And it's ground beef. We can add what you like, but we're using ground beef. We're using summer squash. Oh, there we go. We're getting a boil on now. We're using summer squash, onion, garlic, eggplant, and zucchini. Ooh, I'm making a mess. This is a much smaller... <laughs> I'm trying to do everything in the in the very small space that Facebook allows us to see. So, all the lavender. Yes, I do love lavender. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Anyway, so I'd love if you guys could subscribe if you're enjoying the show. Please click the subscribe button. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern and do this cooking show. And, um, you know, we mix it up. It's not always the same. It's it's never the same thing twice. Although I'm going to say never and then watch. I'm going to repeat myself soon. Um, it's generally not the same thing twice. It's not my goal. Um, my goal is to have original, original programming. So, yeah, we've done last week. What did we do last week? We did make-ahead breakfasts. We did baked donuts. We did... Beef stroganoff. We've done lots of things, lots and lots of things. Looks really good. Thanks. It's it is really good and it's really easy. And you know this is a good one too for those of you who are um, low. This is low carb. You can do it low carb. You can do it whole thirty. Um, no, it's got no no dairy. It's got no grains. It's got no. It's just all really really healthy stuff. And you know you can use lean ground beef if you want, you can use ground chicken, you can, it's a really, it's a great one if you're trying to stay healthy, but not sacrifice on flavor, because it's, it's really hearty and delicious. Um, I don't, I don't generally eat grains, I won't say never, because that would be a lie, but I generally don't eat grains, so I like to just throw this in a bowl and dig in, and it's delicious, so. Let's see, how much time do we have? We've got about a half an hour left. So this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. This is not gonna cook down to the point where I want it to be in 30 minutes, but this is how it's done. And literally just keep letting it go. And I've got a few more vegetables over here that I'll probably add in as we go as it boils down a little bit. The dish I'm preparing in Cyan is um, Italian Sloppy Joes. It's, it's ground beef. It is ground beef um, and veggies and spaghetti sauce and we the veggies we used are um, eggplant summer squash zucchini mushrooms onion and garlic I'm gonna scoot this out of the way and we're gonna get some garlic knots going and hopefully have time I've got my oven set 
And I've got my crescent rolls. We're just going to do a really simple crescent roll version. So hopefully we've got some time to knock those out while this continues to cook down. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to grab my pan over here. And it looks like we're going to we're going to go the whole 90 minutes. And actually, I'm going to do a quick share here because it's been a while. Let's see. Share, share. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. I know you can see my backside for a second. Okay, close that. Sorry. Okay. Sometimes if we stay on too long, Facebook sometimes forgets we're on and we have issues, but have some wine. Oh, yes, I should have some wine. Okay. Um, you know, I am going to have a glass of wine. Okay. I'm going to try what Aaron was trying last week, which we had the other day and it was really good. So I'm going to pour a little bit of that. I'm just going to pour a little because I do have to work tonight after this goes off, but... Mm. Well, that's good. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're going to do garlic knots. We're just going to use some really just crescent rolls. I put the I put the way I do it in the in the show notes. You can grab that. Um, sorry, just give it a little stir. And it is definitely cooking down. We're getting there. Hey, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll get it all the way cooked down by the end of the show. And then we'll have a... I mean, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? That would be lovely. Okay, so a little stir. And okay, so I'm gonna start with butter. Because butter, I mean, why not? Butter's amazing, right? And we're gonna melt it. I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna mint some garlic into it. We're gonna melt it. And then we're gonna use that to dredge the crescent roll dough. And then we're gonna make it. Dun, 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 dun. Super simple, but super delicious. All right. All right, yeah. I don't love this burner. I'm not going to lie. Not my favorite. Hi, Becca. Better yet, just because. Amen. Amen. Okay, so there's our butter. I'm going to grab some more of those giant garlic cloves. Hmm, I thought I had one started. Where'd it go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Our giant garlic cloves. Hi from Texas. Hi, Laura. Hi, Thea. All right. So we've got one. I'm going to do like four or five because this is garlic knot, so it should be like uber garlicky, right? That's the point. Hi, Sherry. Those of you just tuning in, I know we just did a, we just did another share, so we might be having some new viewers come on. Did you see that garlic go flying? Um, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We're filming just north of Orlando. And this is our quick, easy cooking show. You can see in the show notes links to what we're making. Right now we're doing a really quick um, garlic knot with <clears throat> crescent roll dough. Over here we've got a an Italian sloppy joe working. Ooh, and uh, we're running behind on time. This, this recipe is a touch longer and I'm a touch um, chatty. <laughs> so, you know, it wouldn't take this long if I was doing it in my kitchen undistracted but let's be real when is that hi from Missouri hi Samantha um when does that ever happen I have five kids so I'm never alone in the kitchen I'm, I'm just never alone really my husband wonders why I stay up so late at night but it's the only time there's ever quiet so I kind of need that do you guys do that hi from Georgia I love your name April that's my name too um yeah so I'm April from Mama Loves Food we're here every Tuesday and Thursday 8 30 p.m eastern doing um, simple recipes, family friendly, yummy recipes. Some are healthy, some are not. Today we're doing Italian Sloppy Joes, which is what we've got going over here. And I'm gonna try, if we've got enough time, we get kicked out. Facebook gives you the hook, the big boot, um, after 90 minutes. So it's possible we'll get kicked off tonight. We, we did once before we got kicked off, so we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna do it again. All right, and this is, this is garlic knot, so that's why we're going crazy with the garlic. Yum. Anyway, so those of you just tuning in, if you're enjoying the show, or even if you're not tuning in, if 
you've been here from the beginning, that's amazing. I need that tool. This is a garlic press and it's one of my favorite tools. And I actually linked to it in the show notes. If you look, depending on what device you're on, it'll be down here or scroll all the way to the top or maybe over here. I don't know. Oh, over here maybe. Um, anyway, yeah, there's a link to the, this exact one that I'm using and I love it. I, this, I've had this specific one for probably a decade and it's still going and they still make it. So it's obviously it's good. It's, yeah, it's good. And it's neat because it's got, you can mince or slice, which I love. And it makes it so much easier. It's so fast. I mean, after I got one of these, I was like, I will never mince garlic with a knife again. I won't. And I haven't because why? Yeah. And then it just gives you the skin. Isn't that neat? Okay. So we've got, I think I put five or six, five or six ish. There's no right amount. Uh, there's garlic and butter, and I'm going to pop this in the microwave. We're going to melt it, and then we're going to use it to dredge our crescent roll dough through. So I'm going to just do 30 seconds on there. And thank you so much, you guys. I really enjoy doing this. I love that our comments are working. That's so exciting. Um, hi, Ronnie. Oh, from Melbourne, Australia. What time is it there? I don't even have any idea. Hi, Vins. Um, yes, the garlic press is amazing. I absolutely adore it. Adore it. Hi, Krista. Carry Gold is the best. Oh, God, don't you love it? It's so good. I mean, you can totally taste the difference in flavor. Totally, totally, totally. Okay, so like I said earlier, our vegetables are cooking down beautifully. And it's giving us more room in the pot. So, 11.32 a.m. Oh, wow. That's a big difference. Huge. Okay, so I'm going to throw some more of our vegetables. I chopped a crazy amount of vegetables, and I'm just going to, when we're... When I'm done with the recipe, whatever I don't use, I'm gonna put in a sack in the freezer. Hello from Ohio, hi. I'm glad you enjoy, Vince, thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna throw whatever's left in a sack in the freezer for, you know, stir fry or soup or lasagna or whatever we end up making again later down the road. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep adding them as the other stuff cooks down. Because I like my stuff chock full of vegetables. If you've ever made my, my any of my chilies, they are just teeming with vegetables. Yum. Okay, so that's in. And our microwave just beeped, so I'm going to take a sip of wine, and then I'm going to do it. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. Let's see. Our butter is not quite ready. I'm going to do another 30 seconds on that. And I said it a couple times toward the beginning of the show, but I feel like it bears repeating. Those of you who watch me regularly, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I want to give you a heads up. I will not be here Thursday, um, but my sister will be. She's going to go ahead and, and pick a, web, uh, a website. She's going to pick a recipe off the website, and she is going to cook for us. So I'm really excited. My sister lives in D.C. She actually lived um, just around the corner until about a month ago, and she and her husband, I'm in Orlando in Florida, uh, and she and her husband moved to DC, so we missed them. And, uh, but with the power of the internet, she is going to be appearing in the same place I am, which is kind of cool. So you guys will have to tell me how you like it. Mindy, hi. Thea, hi. Angela, hi. Thank you guys so much for commenting. I can't tell you how much it means that you guys interact. I really, that's probably my favorite part of the show. I mean, that and the cooking. I do adore cooking, obviously. Okay, so we gotta get scooting. Facebook is going to kick us off, and I want to get some of these cooked before, before they boot us. I'm going to give this a little stir. So what we've got here in this bowl is just garlic and butter melted together. And then I'm going to grab my crescent roll dough. There it is. Okay. And I've got my oven preheated to 350, um, which is just what it says on the package. Nothing special. I'm just following the package baking directions. Come on. Some of these, did I not peel? I didn't peel it enough. That's what happened. Let's try now. Oh my, it doesn't want to go. St. Thomas, Ontario. Hi. So I'm April from Mama Loves Food, but this is Stephanie's, uh, Stephanie from Spaceship and Laser Beans invites me on here to do some cooking. And Stephanie's from Canada. I'm not going to tell you where because I'll probably get it wrong, but she is from Canada. Uh, you know, I think this 
dish is kid friendly. My kids all eat it. Um, the more, what I was saying earlier is right now it's, I like to set it on the stove toward the morning and just let it cook all day long. And you can, you can cover it or you can just add a little bit of water as the day goes on and, and it boils down. Um, and then when you're ready to be done, when you find that the vegetables are boiled down enough, go ahead and let the extra start evaporating until you get a really thick, 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 um, almost malleable, almost, almost shapeable, um, um, sorry, I had a sip of wine. Do you see how I'm acting? A sip of wine. Um, yeah, so you want it to be almost stiff. Like, you know how when you do eggs, you say stiff peaks? It's almost that kind of consistency where you can form it. That's where you want it to get to. Um, and if you cook the vegetables long enough, you really can't tell there's, you can't see that there's vegetables in it. So my kids don't squawk because they don't really know what's in it. So, yeah. So I'm going to set this over on the side. I'm going to grab my dough, and I'm just going to stretch it out. And we're going to stretch, stretch, stretch. And I'm going to, this is, so this is one triangle from the, um, crescent dough and I I did it in half and I've got two little snakes here hi Thea um, how do you serve it I serve it with um, you don't really need sides because and I did wash my hands guys I promise um, so it's dripping with garlic and butter oh yum and I'm literally going to make a knot and I made a knot and I'm gonna put it on my tray and there's my first knot and I'm gonna keep doing that and these are our garlic knots it's a really, really simple, <laughs> simple thing to do. Um, so, okay, so I like to serve it. You don't actually need a side dish because it's got all the vegetables in it, um, but you certainly could do a side dish. Um, I serve it, I usually serve it with baguettes or Italian bread, just like a sloppy joe. Um, hi, Thea. Hi, Susie. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I'm trying to think what sides, I, we don't usually do sides with this one because it's, Basically everything's in one, you know, it's an all-in-one kind of meal. But you could do pasta. You could serve it over pasta even. This is a very messy method, but it does make a delicious garlic knot. Hi, Darcy. Um, I'm trying to think what else you could serve it with. You could do some roasted bro uh, roasted cauliflower. I always find cauliflower is really good with Italian flavors. I don't know, you guys have any suggestions? What would you serve this with? Would you serve it with anything? I know I don't generally, but that doesn't mean you can't. Can you hold one up so you can see? Oh yeah, sure. It's it's ugly, it's just a knot. There you go. It is literally a knot. This is my first time watching and I, oh, I'm so glad you enjoy it. Please hit subscribe if you're enjoying. Please hit the subscribe button and that will give you a notice when we come on live. I come on here every Tuesday and Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And I am on my site, Mama Loves, so I'm on here on Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm on my site, Mama Loves Food. Eight, oh yeah, salad, that would be perfect actually, thank you. Um, if your kids will eat salad, which mine aren't, mine aren't huge fans of salad, they'll eat it if I make them, but, but yes, for adults, this is, salad is the perfect, perfect choice for this. And we are, we are seriously running out of time. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this dough aside right over here. I'm going to pop these in the oven um, and just cook a few so you can see, you can see them done. And then I'll cook the rest after we're off air. But yeah, so this is our, oop, I almost lost one. I'll show you, sorry. Our garlic knots and it makes, um, one can of crescent dough makes 16 because it comes with eight triangles. And I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes. And we'll check that. So, one, actually, you know what? I'm going to finish. I'll just finish them on this next tray. Hi, Susie. I would serve it with spaghetti as an appetizer with marinara sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. I'm going to give this a stir. We don't want to scorch the bottom. That, would, that is not the goal at all. Ooh, and as we get down to the wire, I will. Oh, and you know what I do? I. So I like to serve it on like hoagie rolls, Italian bread hoagie rolls, um, with a slice of provolone. Yeah, and salad sounds like a really great idea. And garlic knots, obviously, that's what we're making. So yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for um, getting on. Maryland, hi from Maryland, hi Lori. Okay, so 
We're just gonna keep doing these. We've got those in the oven, but I don't want to be wasteful, and my kids will definitely eat these, so. Yeah, so I, oh gosh, look at this. I got ground beef all over it. Oops, I wiped that off. I didn't realize there was ground beef over here. Hi, Laura, mashed potatoes, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't personally associate mashed potatoes with Italian food, but you gotta do what you like. One for the road is it? yeah. Okay, so here we go. Our dough, we're just gonna make some more knots. And you can make them as small as you want. You don't have to use half, you could use thirds. I like that food, I do too. All right. So yeah, so Thursday I'm not gonna be here, but my sister is gonna be on. My daughter and I are flying out to <clears throat> Boulder to see some family. And uh, my girlfriend's gonna be out there, so we said we would tag along and bunk with her in the hotel room. Can I freeze the leftovers of the, of the Italian, of the, I'm sorry, the Italian, the Italian sloppy joes? Absolutely, which is exactly why I'm making such a big batch. Hi, Sheila. Um, yes, you can freeze them. I strongly suggest freezing them. They reheat beautifully. Um, so yeah, that's why we're doing, the recipe calls for one pound, but I've actually got three pounds going over here. Which is why it's taking longer and my, this poor little skillet is not loving me right now. <laughs> but that's okay. We can be patient. Alright. So I'm just making garlic knots right now. This is just crescent roll. And I'm, do I know the carbo counts? I don't, I'm sorry. I, I do not know what the carb counts are on this. I'm not a carb watcher. I probably should be, but I'm not. Um, there we go. I know my fitness pal has a great tool for checking that stuff if you need it though. MyFitnessPal.com. Hi Christy. Hi Isabel from San Antonio. I was born in San Antonio. My dad was in the Air Force and we were stationed at Lackland Air Force Base, which is in San Antonio. So yeah, so right now we've got Italian sloppy joes over here. I am making um, garlic knots with crescent dough and we're just each triangle I'm splitting in two, Ooh, although this dough is, um, I've had it out a while, so it's, where do I go to subscribe? Okay, so this is a really new feature, and Facebook is um, a little glitchy sometimes, so don't quote me on this, but on Apple devices, it's usually in the top right corner. Um, also on, on the computer, it should be there. And on Android devices, if you scroll up to the top of the comments, you should be able to subscribe. Um, if you don't see them there, I've also been told that once the show is over, it will give you a notice like, hey, if you enjoyed the show, please subscribe. I can't quote you on that because I've actually never watched one of my shows live because that would be impossible. <laughs> um, and I've also heard that sometimes a subscribe option will pop up like in the comments. So maybe keep an eye there. So yeah, wow, this dough is my warm hands and my exceedingly warm kitchen. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very bright in here. If I don't make it super bright. Hi from Atlanta. Hi, Judith. Um, my fitness, it's my fitness pal, P-A-L at the end. MyFitnessPal.com um, has a really good nutrition. You put all the ingredients in and how many servings and stuff, and it'll tell you all the fun information, carbs and sugars and whatever you're looking for. Samantha, I just subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Facebook doesn't tell me who subscribed or how many subscribed, so I'm hoping a lot of you, but I don't know, I have no way of knowing. They do tell me how many people watch. That's about all they tell me. So, yeah, we're doing our crescent rolls. We've got about three minutes left on the crescent rolls that are in the oven, and we just did um, I have a thousand viewers. Yes, I have a thousand viewers at this moment. Um, they tell me that. It says it, it tells me right up here in a little corner of mine. I don't know if that's where you guys see it too, but, um, yeah. And then it tells me at the end how many people came on and off and all that fun stuff. Um, hi Brittany. Can't, as that say, Kansas or Kentucky? I can't see from here. Mac and cheese and green beans would be good sides. Yeah, absolutely. Mac and cheese goes with everything, right? All right, I'm going to give this a little stir. stir. We don't want to scorch the bottom. And it's cooking down beautifully. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll leave some out for my husband. You know, I'm, my daughter and I are going away for a few days. 
<clears throat> so I'll leave this for my husband to serve the kids. Not that he's not perfectly capable of feeding the kids. He absolutely is. I'm just trying to be nice. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just grabbing another roll of crescent dough. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, so I'll, and I'll freeze the rest of it. So when I get back, I can have some too. Watching from Adelaide, Australia. Oh, hi from Australia. That's exciting. We're in um, Orlando, Florida. Well, just north of Orlando, Florida. I'm about an hour from Mickey. People always seem to relate to where, where Disney World is. Everyone seems to know where Disney World is. So we're about an hour from there. I am having a really hard time with these crescent roll pans tonight. I don't know what the deal is. <clears throat> I'm going to try a knife and hope that I don't take a finger off. It still doesn't want to open. What is going on? I think we might have a dead can, guys. That's a bummer. Maybe, oh, no, there it goes. It's just not wanting to open. Oh, it's trying so hard. Good gravy. Come on. Did we get it? We, oh, I think we got it. Woohoo! What is a crescent roll? Oh, okay, hold on. Um, I just shredded that, but I'll show you. Give me a second. Pillsbury makes them, and most grocery stores make a store brand of it. It's just a type of dough. Um, and you can make it from scratch. Oh my goodness, this thing does not want to, there we go. Okay, I'll grab a can. Give me one second. We've only got about 10 minutes left, but give me just one second. I will grab a can and I'll show you so you know what to look for. It's just in the refrigerated section, usually by the butter. Um, one second, I'll show you. Using. Pillsbury makes a brand. Most stores make a brand. There you go. Crescent roll dough. And you can make it from scratch. I, I don't believe it's terribly difficult, but I, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I don't. Uh, but yeah, you could. You certainly could. And our timer's about to beep, and I'll go check on those. I timed it for slightly less than it recommends, just to be, just to be safe since we made them smaller. Uh, I'm going to say they need like Maybe 90 more seconds. Okay. Whew. It's been a busy hour and a half so far. Hour and 22 minutes. I want to eat all the things. Come on over, Aaron. Help yourself. Okay. Whew. Aaron, for those of you who know, is the one that um, sometimes she puts a... Uh, I get a lot of questions. Listen to me. I'm like half a sentence, half a sentence. I get a lot of questions about the necklace I'm wearing. Erin is my, Erin's the one I bought it from. And she's a dear friend and she was on the show with me last week actually when we made beef stroganoff. So yeah, she actually literally could walk over. She lives down the street. Okay, so we're doing this. It's a, I can't get crescent rolls in Scotland so I will use garlic crusty bread instead. Oh, I think that would work beautifully. Absolutely, absolutely. Really any kind of bread, bread dough will work. Hi Bridget. I would take just the wine. Wine is good. Wine is good. I got to be careful not to drink too much because I have work to do tonight. Ugh. But taxes are done. Yay. Are we? How excited are we? The taxes. Ugh. Not for another year. I don't have to look at those stupid things. Ugh. Taxes are done. Woohoo. I like seriously. I could sing from the rooftops about taxes being done. I have so much anxiety over taxes. We have. Uh, my husband and I are totally self-employed. He runs a business and I run two small businesses. And um, yeah, so tax season is, is, is terrifying to me. I'm always afraid I'm gonna screw something up and the government's gonna come knocking at my door. And I have several friends who are CPAs and tell me I, I get my panties in a bunch about nothing, but it scares me. Does it scare you guys? It scares me. I am dipping these in, I've got um, minced garlic and melted butter. Yep, mm -hmm, that's all I'm doing. And then I'm knotting them and Put them on the sheet in our first batch. I did a mini batch just so we could make sure we saw what came out of the oven. Hi, Thea. Hi, Betty. We're making um, <laughs> Italian. We made Italian um, sloppy joes. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of bread. And we're going to plate this so that you guys can see what it looks like. Because our time is just about out, which is sad. But I could talk to you guys all night, seriously. You probably are ready for me to can it. But, okay, I'm going to grab those out of the oven. 
And I will grab a nice Italian roll and some provolone cheese. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This looks great. Okay. Where's my... I'm sorry, I don't want to burn my countertops. Where's my thing? Good, good gravy. I know I took it out. All right, well, we're going to put it on top of this. I hope that it doesn't fit. Okay, can you see? They're nice and toasty and brown and yummy. And you can even drizzle them with a little bit more garlic and butter. And I'm going to grab the rolls. And, oh, I hear you. Telling me to take it out of the oven. We did it. We got it out. I'm going to grab the rolls. And, okay. Sorry, I know my, my countertop starts out clean at the beginning of the show and then just gets continually messier and messier. Fun stuff. All right. Oh, goodness. There's my hot plate. It was right there the whole time. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this out of the way now that you've seen it. And we're gonna plate some of this sloppy joe. That is hot because it's in the oven and I put it, thankfully not crazy hot, but hotter than I was anticipating. Okay, we've got our roll, and I'm gonna cut a knife, open the bad boy up. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, Facebook's yelling at me. We've got four minutes to shut it down. Okay, Facebook, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, so I've got my Italian roll open. I am going to shove, well, let's see if I can find some. I do provolone, but we're going to go with mozzarella tonight. We're going to put some, I hate to see you go, oh, April, I super appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I'll be here. I won't be here on Thursday. I will literally be flying on an airplane, um, but maybe Josie and I will pop on from the airport beforehand and say hello. Um, and you can see me having a complete panic attack because I hate flying. Um, okay, so I'm just stuffing some mozzarella cheese down there and you can use any cheese you like. Like I said, I usually use provolone, but mozzarella is um, excellent as well. And then I'm going to come over here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, guys. And I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to spoon some of this stuff in there. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, so yummy, so yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. We've got our, and I haven't even, I'm going to be honest, I would cook this down even more. It's not even as thick as I normally like. It's, it's good. It's thick and you could certainly eat it now. Um, and my husband will, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I would, I'm going to keep even cooking this longer than the show's on. And then I'm going to grab a couple of our garlic knots. Oh my gosh. Yummy, yummy. Look at that. Garlic knot, buttery, and garlicky. I'm going to put a couple of those on here. Dun -dun -dun. I know Facebook's yelling at me. They're saying, hurry up woman. What are you doing? We're going to have a couple of fresh basil leaves. All right, look at that. Look at that, look at that. So fancy. Isn't that so fancy? It's telling me a minute and 58 seconds. Ah! All right, look at that. And we're done. Yay! We've got our garlic knots, which were super easy with the crescent rolls. And we've got our um, Italian sloppy joes, which we made with ground beef. Onion, garlic, spaghetti, I'm sorry, spaghetti squash, not spaghetti squash, summer squash, zucchini, and eggplant. And I'll hold it up so you can see there. Can you smell it? It's so good, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for tuning in again. Uh, you will see my sister on Thursday. Be kind to her, please. And you will see me again on Tuesday. And actually, you will see me, if you are subscribed to Mama Loves Food, you will see me tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're going to come on and do some kids crafts with the kids. Um, Till next time, thank you. Please subscribe and have a wonderful week.